We love wallpaper and there are so many reasons why. It creates a look that cannot be achieved with paint. It covers your walls with patterns, color and texture. Wallpapering is a one coat process that doesn't create a whole lot of mess or fumes, allowing you to use your room right away. Wall preparation is a straightforward process and once your wallpaper is hung, it's a durable option. Best of all, with the right preparation and tools, you can hang the wallpaper yourself. Here is our how to wallpaper a room. Step one, prepare the wall. Strip any old paper off your walls, then repair any imperfections on the wall by filling it with plaster and sand it smooth with 80 grit sandpaper. You will probably need to use oil-based pigmented sealer to avoid any marks or stains showing through on your new wallpaper. With a brush or roller, apply size and let it dry, ideally for 24 hours. This makes it much easier to position the wallpaper when it's time to start hanging. Step two, plan wallpaper placement. Decide where you will hang your first strip. This should be the most focal point of the room. Then plan to wrap the wallpaper around to meet in a place that is discreet, like behind a door or underneath a full length drape. Use a plumb line to mark out a level line. Use this perfectly straight line to hang your first strip of wallpaper against. Step three, hang the wallpaper. In this case, we are using a paste the wall wallpaper. You just paint the paste onto your wall, not onto the paper. Brush or roll paste onto the wall for one drop at a time with some overlap. Unroll your first length, starting at the top, find the pattern match if there is one, and join the sides together. Then smooth it onto the wall using a brush or smoother. Trim the wallpaper overhang by holding a large roller next to your trim and steadily move a sharp knife along it removing the excess wallpaper slowly. The best thing you can do is constantly change your blade so it is always super sharp. If you have any excess paste, it is easily removed with a warm, damp sponge or cloth. Follow this process for the rest of the lens. Step four, fold into the corners. Line up your wallpaper beside the edge of the last strip, keeping the wallpaper off the other side of the corner. Smooth the wallpaper into the corner, then press firmly to fold it into the corner. Then smooth the wallpaper out on the other side of the corner. Check that the wallpaper is level. If it isn't, you need to trim it. Step five. Cut around windows and door frames. Hang the length of wallpaper over the frame. Smooth the wallpaper into the wall, then press your blade into the corner point of the frame and make a diagonal cut in the paper. Lift the flaps and carefully smooth the paper into the frame's edges. Then crease and trim the paper. Step six, cut around switches and power points. Make sure that the power is switched off and unscrew your plate from the wall. Lay your paper straight over top of the fitting. Then make diagonal cuts from corner to corner across the fitting. Pull the plate through and then trim the wallpaper with a blade. Once the wallpaper is dry, screw the plate back on and turn the power back on. Once you are finished, enjoy the minimal cleanup, the instant transformation of your room and the sense of achievement in completing this DIY task. Happy wallpapering!